My name is Anne Faith and I serve as the chairperson of CPSMA. Greetings to all of the members of the Boards of Management of our Catholic Primary Schools and all their staff. In this video, we want to introduce a resource to you that CPSMA has developed to help Boards of Management ensure that promoting their Catholic ethos and living up to their Catholic ethos is central to their work. It is called Living Our Ethos. How are we doing? I warmly welcome this resource from CPSMA. I also would like to send my greetings to the board members and staff of all the schools in the Diocese of Kildare and Lachlan, and to thank you for all you do to promote the Catholic ethos of your school. Ethos is not just about external symbols. It's about behaviour. It's about how we treat people in our school community. Do we bring our gospel values to life in the way we run our school? Do we treat everyone as if we truly believe they are made in the image and likeness of God? Is our school a place of joy for all our pupils? I believe this checklist can help all of us rise to that challenge and safeguard the defining spirit of our schools. I pray that Jesus, our teacher and Lord, will continue to bless your good work. We hope that this resource will help boards of management protect, develop and promote what makes our schools so special, which is our Catholic ethos. The ethos of a Catholic school is of course rooted in our Christian faith. A Catholic school is a faith school. So, while there are any number of management tasks that will need your attention, we always need to ensure that we are in tune with our Catholic ethos and that it guides all that we do. We need to remain faithful to what a Catholic faith school is all about. We can be especially proud of how our Catholic schools are so welcoming to children from other denominations, other faiths and none. This is a very precious example of our Catholic ethos in action it rests on our belief that everyone is made in the image and likeness of God. At the same time, there is a special link between each Catholic school, the local parish, and indeed the local bishop as patron. Parents appreciate that their children are helped through the school to grow in the faith and to practice their faith, particularly through their sacramental preparation. Keeping all of this in balance is key to honouring our Catholic ethos. Let's turn to look at the resource in more detail. What we have provided is a list of areas for your consideration. Boards of management are invited to assess each area, to see what is in place, what might be missing, and to identify your next steps in regard to any underdeveloped area. Let's look at a few examples. The first example from the checklist is simply to ask if issues relating to the Catholic ethos appear on the agenda for Board of Management meetings, or is the agenda focused elsewhere? As chairperson of a Board of Management, I appreciate how busy uh, board meetings can be and indeed how school life can be particularly in the last few years. There's always so much work to do. And uh, sometimes we can lose track of why we are here, uh, what we are doing, and um, what it means to be a Catholic school. Uh, I have found the checklist to be very useful in helping to ground us and bring us back and to um, think um, positively about ethos and bring it into our decision making and not let it disappear from view. The Living Our Ethos checklist also invites boards to assess how clearly is the Catholic identity of their school being communicated. In Skolvara, we strive to have a very clear Catholic identity. Our Catholic ethos is very important to us and we try to ensure it's lived out in all we do. In terms of what people can see, visual symbols of our faith are on display throughout the school. As soon as you enter the school grounds, you see a beautiful statue of Our Lady to whom our school is dedicated. Catholic symbolism continues with the public space in our entrance hall 
Again, this space has a dedication to Our Lady as she has a special place within our school. The schedule of a Catholic school is on display as are photos of Bishop Dennis Nolte and Pope Francis. Each classroom has a sacred space where children can focus when praying. Creating these individual sacred spaces in classrooms allows children to explore what the symbols of our faith mean. Prayer is a fundamental part of the daily life of the school. We pray throughout the day, for example in the morning and at home time, and also the Angelus at noon. Our Living Our Ethos checklist also asks boards to assess under a number of headings the actual delivery of religious education in the school. We are blessed to have a religious education coordinator and a sacramental coordinator in the school. We also have a teacher who leads a pastoral student voice initiative. This initiative has a clear focus in involving students in their own faith development and in developing the Catholic ethos of the school. The children actively participate in liturgical celebrations in the church. The beginning and end of the school year is celebrated with the Mass, as is our school feast day and other holy days of obligation. We have very well established close links with our parish team. Our school chaplain, Father Rory, is a welcome and regular visitor to the school and having a church on campus is an added bonus. Being sacramental coordinator for the parish enables the parish and school to work closely together, especially those students who are preparing to receive the sacraments. I work closely with the teachers of these classes, as well as the whole school community, in making sure that we are singing from the one hymn sheet. Another defining characteristic of our Catholic ethos is the commitment to Catholic social teaching. We are called to care for the needy and care for our common home. The checklist invites boards to think about how their school is helping the children engage with these issues and how it reflects the ethos of the school. Uh, what we teach in the classroom through the Grow in Love Religious Education Programme really comes to life when we get involved in practical initiatives. It is just wonderful to see the response from the children when we get involved in fundraising. Fundraising for charities is a key focus for practice in Skullvera. Before Christmas, our annual sale of work this year and Carl singing raised almost 6,000 euro for local charities and others such as St. Vincent de Paul. We link up with Sister Eileen and the parish team to create parcels for their Share Food initiative, serving our local community. And we also promote the Troca Relenting campaign. All this helps to define our school, our lived values and what we see as important. Another way we encourage the children to live their faith is through initiatives such as the Green Schools. This is our way of reflecting Pope Francis' message on sustainability. We care for the world that God has given us and we see God in all things when we undertake environmental projects with the children. After watching this video together, each board is asked to begin going through the checklist at your next meeting. We would also encourage playing this video at a staff meeting. The checklist is meant to be a positive and constructive resource that will help the Board of Management to strengthen our schools as places where we walk together in faith and love. Let's make it a living document and a fundamental part of how your board operates and how you uphold the Catholic ethos of your school. Gonairi on Boher Live. <laughs>